All right, let's have a little look at the Duet Wi-Fi. So I've been playing with it. I haven't done a print yet, but it's impressive. I've had the extruder moving uh, across the bed, and it's extremely fast, it's extremely smooth, and very quiet. Um, so on the right hand side here I've got the web interface, it's just disconnected because I've just switched the printer off to demonstrate how fast the web server loads up from when you switch it on. So uh, this is disconnected now, so I'm going to switch it on and press the refresh button and uh, watch how quickly it comes up. It's loading, it's not going to be there straight away, let's do another refresh and it's there. Okay, and that's it. It's ready to go. It's as quick as that. Um, so let's turn this around and do some tests. Let's have a look at what we can do. First of all, let's home all. And that's the home all sequence that's put in. What I love about it is the button actually triggers off a file stored on the SD card, so you can literally configure exactly how it homes, in what speed, in what order, and what it does afterwards. And in this case, I've got it to drop the bed a few uh, millimeters. So now that we're homed, let's uh, let's bring it a little bit closer so we can see what's going on here. There we go. It's completely silent when it's moving at these speeds. Um, I can't stop the other printer at the moment. It's on an important job. So uh, we'll just be looking at the speed as opposed to assessing how loud it is. Okay, so I'm gonna home X. I need to speed that up. Keep forgetting to do that. Right, so what I'm gonna be doing is literally just go into the G-code console and telling it to move left and right. So G1, X, I don't want to take it all the way to the left, just a, a few millimeters in, I don't want it crashing accidentally. So I'm going to do X10, we can see here on the right hand side that it's at 248, that's the uh, home in position. So all the way to the left would be zero. Uh, but I just wanted to come 10. And we're going to do that at a speed of, let's say, 10, 1, 2, 3, 10,000. And see how that works out. Yeah? Okay, nice and smooth. Now we're going to change that to 2, so we're going to be going twice as fast. By the way, for those who are wondering, um, I've also set in the firmware, uh, oh, it's just a file on the SD card, it's so easy to change. Um, we've set the upper speed limit to quite a high value, I'm not going to reveal what that is just yet. I don't want to give away the surprise. But just watch how this goes along. So we're going to change that to double the speed and we're going to go back to about 220. Alright. So let's uh, just remove the two. We'll, we'll get it going to next 20 just to save typing. So let's, uh, let's double that to 40,000. It's quite impressive. I can just hear the bearings, that's the only sound it's making, is, is the bearings moving along the linear rods. Um, I can't hear the, the motor at all, no buzzing, nothing. Let's take that to 60,000. Alright, here we go. Let's take that 60,000 up to 80,000. Why not take it to a hundred thousand? And this is the maximum value I've got it set to at the moment. If I go beyond that, it will just ignore it and stick at a hundred thousand. So, oh by the way, the acceleration is currently set to 3200 I believe. In fact, I can demonstrate how to change this. If we go to settings, and system editor, these are the files on the SD card which 
basically define all of its settings. So we're going to go into config G and edit that. And we can see. There we go, acceleration is there. Um, oh, there we go. Maximum speeds. So there's the 100,000 for X and Y. I'm going to change that to 200,000 and uh, push it in this video and see what we can get away with. And the acceleration is there, 3200 each. So this is also another really cool thing about the Duet Wi Fi is you can put G code in your files and actually have different accelerations and different settings for the entire firmware per G code. When you send these G codes live, like we're going to do right now, it updates straight away. So we're copying that. We'll save that anyway. I don't want to redo it now because that's how it, it would usually load it, but we're going to just type it or paste it into the G code console and that will update it straight away. So I've just increased the maximum speeds or the limitations of the speeds in the firmware. So let's do uh, G1. I don't know why I'm doing G1. Say G0 just in case it's different. I don't think it is. I think that applies to CNC machining mostly. I don't think firmware is. Uh... Somebody let me know if I'm wrong. So we're going to go X20. That's the original, so let's take that by half. I can see that the acceleration is actually clipping the speeds there. So we'll increase that next. So, okay, so I think we're limited by the acceleration there. Let's have a look. I can't remember what the code is for changing the acceleration. Right, it's there. Copy that. And we're going to change that to say uh, 46 inches. There we go. So let's try this line again. Much faster. Take that up a little bit more, a little bit faster. And let's take it to uh, the next one. I, I, uh, I'd be interested to know if there's any comments on this because even though I can see it's going faster, I just don't feel like it's twice what it was at a hundred thousand. So, okay. Maybe increase the acceleration a bit more. Uh, now let's just do the acceleration again first, which is M201. I'm going to go X. Let's go crazy at uh, 6000. It's a little bit quicker again. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. The travel moves are going to be amazing. But yeah, that's, uh, I think that's pretty quick. So I think that's a successful test. Do I push it more? Why not? Let's just see what happens if we push it again. So we're going to change. It's just easier for me to copy that. Acceleration X twenty F two hundred and fifty thousand. It's pretty fast. 
I can hear a slight change in the sound it makes each time, so I know something's happening. I know I'm not hitting a brick wall. It is getting slightly faster, but I don't think it's faster than I'm telling it. All right, let's go 300,000. It's pretty instant. Um, all right, let's do acceleration. Let's have a look. There we go, M201 X uh, 6000. Oh no, that is what it's on, I think, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, Alright, 8, no, 10,000. Let's just see what that does. G0 X220 F, and we're up to 300,000. Ah, we had a skip. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. So, why did it just stop? I didn't hear a click or anything, but there was something not right. So, we're going to need to home that now. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you how quick it is to change how quickly it homes. Uh, so, home X is very slow. Ah, right, okay, so it thinks, that's just like a safety thing it's doing there, because it thinks now it's pushing beyond the end stop. Because it stopped in the middle, due to the motors couldn't cope with the speed or the acceleration, it thought it reached its destination, which was right next to the, uh, the home end stop, so it thinks it's right next to it. Can we fix that? Um, I'm going to have to turn it off and back on, I think. Yeah, let's quick to do that, I suppose, on the switch. Let's change the speed of that. So to do that in a normal firmware would be quite difficult. But we can go into system editor. And I think no it's not, it's gonna be in the home uh, here we go, home all. We got one for home X as well, because those are gonna be different. The home all button is different to the home X button. So let's have a look in here. Alright, so this is what happens when you click home X as you saw me do just now. So uh, it lifts the Z, or in this case, drops the red. Let's change that to... And I'm happy with the slow speed, so let's save that. And it's not going to offer me to restart, because it isn't the config file. It uh, it fires it each time, so it doesn't need to reload the file right now. Okay, let's see if that uh, has changed. Just pull it away a bit. And hold it. See, it's a little bit faster. And I don't mind it going a bit faster than that, so we'll do it again. Mm, maybe 45. There we go. Now, home wise, is probably going to be as slow. So let's quickly do that. This one's to the home all. Oh, I think I have done that one. Is that 6,000? Which means you can get away with 6,000. I believe the Z, because uh, I think that's already already good. Right, let's have a think. What next? Well, we were testing the X positioning speeds and stuff. I'm sure it's M201, but I just want to be sure. So, 
let's set that to straight on 6,000. I did have it on that. So I'm going to store that permanently. I'd have to change it in the config file, but uh, typing it as a code when it's live doesn't make a permanent change, only on this session. Let's try 200,000 at that acceleration. I'm happy with that. 250. I feel that that was. Yeah, that's been affected by the acceleration. But I'm happy with that. I think we've uh, determined the limitation that I want to have in the firmware. Awesome. So, let's see of what we've got. So we went it on 250,000 and. 6,000 acceleration. So we're going to go 25, there, and 6,000. That is cool. Do I want to reboot? Why not? How quick is it to reboot? Okay, the fans are switched off. Come back on. I think, I think it's... Oh. There we go. And that is cool.